Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Last episode, we got a dark key and the shop key. Let's use the shop key on the storage door. And since we got the dark key, you're probably all assuming that, yes, there's another dark chest. Plus a lot of items, jam and jelly. Highly nutritious snack, which was 50 flower points. Boot sheet makes you invisible, so attacks against you miss. Life Shoom, restores 10 HP when Mario or his partner falls. Really valuable item there. Defend Plus, boosts Mario's defense by one. I believe that's three badge points? Oh, it's five. Oh, wow, yikes. Oh, dang, that, yeah, that's, that's a lot. All right, hold up, hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, it's just so unlikely. Huh? What's that you say? You've been you've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, 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 no! I'm not like those chests. I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not. Seriously, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on! You know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, come on. Please, just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty please. Oh, thank goodness. You're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Wee fools. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse step ever. Fear my terrible power. You would know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed. Wee, <laughs> now you're a cursed loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful it is. Wee, <laughs> your suffering amuses me and so I laugh. Now, show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R, then rotate the analog repeatedly. Wee, your pathetic misery throws, throws me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Yes, I understand. Wee, press B to return to normal. Don't forget much brain. I leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> yeah, these curses aren't really curses. They're more of like really good abilities. Excuse me. So with that all out of the way, we can leave and continue uh, where that knockdown tree was at. So yeah, I don't think the shop owner is going to have any items anytime soon. So let's just get going. Okay. Finally here at the dead tree in our way. And that's pretty much how you get through it. Just use the power up, or the curse, I should say, that we learned, and just rolling right under it. Now we gotta switch to Madame Flurry and blow this haystack away. And then I'm gonna switch over to Goombella because we're going right into the woods. Oh cool, another star piece. Wasn't trying to go for it. I just jumped right behind the pipe. Ah, uh, here comes some of my least favorite enemies of all time. Because they're all together and I hate it. Tattle. That's a crazy daisy. It may look cute. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when its HP runs low, it runs away. So try to KO it in one fell swoop. I- Oh, you know, you know what? I actually needed that. Gosh dang it, that was a fail. Alright, let's do it. All right, cool. Um, you know what? We're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to take out that Paragoomba. Yeah, 
Yeah, just use the regular head, head bonk and mart. I totally forgot it's ghost. Ah, no. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know, it may be able to attack still. Come on, stay over there. Yes! Thank you! I'm just uh, terrified of that blizzard storm item because if he uses it, yeah, I'm definitely done for. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let me switch out with Coops. How about Coops? How about that? I need to still use Coops and Yoshi's brand new uh, move that they learned. Just need to find the right time to do so. Oh, I think I already used it. Shell Shield, Protect Mario from attacks with a giant shell. I messed up on that one. No reason for me to use it now. Yeah, he still sucks. He's still weak. Three? Really? When everyone else is doing four? Coop still does three. Yoshi even does five! That's the thing! Yoshi's main attack does five damage. That's what I don't get. It's like, Coops, get out of here. Like, oh my gosh. Let's get some coins. Because all of a sudden, now they wanted to start adding uh, coin blocks to the game. Yes, Earthquake. Attacks all ground-bound enemies. This will be really useful here with these battles. Oh yay, now there's four of them. Excellent. Uh, yeah, head bunk. Try to get them all on the ground. Oh, okay, good. Didn't work on us. All right, Goombella is gonna use Earthquake. There we go. Cool. Nice, one HP left, baby. Let's, we got this. And we're getting a level up. Thank you. Um, yeah, we probably need to raise, it's either flower points or badge points. I kinda wanna go for badge points because I kinda wanna start raising Mario's defense if I can. You know what? We let's go back. Let's go batch points. I really want to raise up Mario's defense. I'll worry about flower points more down the road. Oh, nice hammer throw! Throw a hammer at one foe, no matter where it is. Let me. Okay, hang on, Ashley. Let me see if I can do that. Where this at? Charge your partner's tactics. Uh, it, yeah, I don't really care about that one. That's actually a really good badge. Okay, super appeal. Get more star power when Mario appear appeals. I never use that, so let me actually use defend plus. Because Mario's taking a lot of beatings, and I'd rather have his defense up higher. Oh, yay, it's a hyper cleft. You remember I tattled on it in the Game Over episode, which is episode 50. I didn't count those, that's for the tattle log. Because I had a Game Over. That's a hyper cleft, it's basically a cleft that uses charge up moves. Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 3. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Couple its rock harness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want. You may want to try do, doing super guards to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better use some items or you better hightail it out of here. <sighs> okay, um... 
I'll use Quake Hammer. Why not? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. There they both went. I thought at least one of them would have stayed because since it had full health, but I guess not. Oh, no, it didn't have full health. I take it back. It only lost two, though. Weird. Oh, Super Shroom. It feels Super Mushroom replenishes 10 HP. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, I guess I'd use Madame Flurry again. I was just gonna say, some of these, like, a lot of the partner abilities we start using again now in Chapter 4, we kind of didn't use that much in Chapter 3, so... Guess I gotta, gotta even it out somehow. By the way, yep, it's still in the woods. It's getting awfully dark around here. If there were like a big hole in the ground, you'd probably fall in without seeing it. Flurry would float right over it, so I'm sure she's not worried. That's awesome. Cool. And uh, ground pound on it. Heads over here. There we go. That's right. You just gotta push it. Head back over into the ground. The hole in the ground. Jump over. Jump down. Jump up. Ah, no! That's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, nice! Safeguard. Cool. Uh, quick hammer again. Cause I'm gonna knock them both over. Or all three of them over, excuse me. I have the worst luck when it comes to stage presence on this game. Now it fogs up. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit him. Oh, okay, wow, take it back. It's just, ah, I don't know, did I activate like hard mode in this game for some strange reason? I don't remember this game being this difficult. Don't get me wrong, I like a challenge, but still, some parts I'm like, really? Cool. Alrighty, coins. Excellent. And finally, we are here at Creepy Steeple. This is actually a pretty cool area. Because there's a lot to it. This is Creepy Steeple, where the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as we possibly can, okay? So let's heal up. Let's admire Creepy Steeple. And we're going to wait until the next episode to explore it. Until then, see you guys in the next episode.